Yo guys, welcome back to AJ Cars. Now what we're going to be doing today is going to go through a few little things that I want to get done to the car, how I want it to look in the future and what sort of mods I want to make to make the car a bit quicker. So first things first, I know I've already put the splitter on but I do want to go further on with the splitter kits and everything, body kits maybe, so side splitters, they're going to be another one that I've got in the making. Rear, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rear at the moment, I don't know if I need a new exhaust maybe. I need to repaint the diffuser, I think it's got a bit faded so I want to get that gloss black. Things like the grill, the fog light surrounds, they're getting gloss black so it matches the whole theme of the splitters and everything, obviously that's already gloss black. I think little touches with the R symbols here and on the back. I think I'm going to touch them in a little bit red just to match because obviously the brakes are red. So it will match them quite nice. So guys, next up are going to be new tyres going on. I have spoke to a guy that I know that works for a tyre place. He said I can get some PS4s quite cheap at the moment because they get discount, which is quite good. I'll get some PS4s on the front. I've already got Eagle F1s on the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Eagle F1s off the front put them on the back because they've still got good life and I'll put the PS4s on the front and that should give me that extra grip that I've been lacking so very much. So I know the car sits a bit high at the moment because it is stuck, this car hasn't been fucked with at all. So definitely going to get it lowered, maybe coil overs if I can push the boat out a little bit with price but lowering springs are my main priority at the moment because they do sit quite high, especially spacers. Once it's lowered and I get the space on the back and maybe some on the front that should sit quite low then, so it sit quite nice in the arches. So again, the car is stuck, but it's an old car. It has got signs of wear, so things like the wheels, they're all curved, whoever had it before. It was not me, I promise you that. Why the fuck you lying? The old owners obviously fucked up the wheels, they need to be doing. Things like quarter here, it's a bit of a, I think the bumper's caught it because of the weight of the bumper's so heavy. I think it's just kind of knocked it, flicked the paint off there. I'm gonna get that done. The rear bumper's got maybe a little scuff here. I want to get that repainted just so the car looks really nice. The front's obviously got some spider, little stone chips in it. I want to get them done so the car is absolutely mint then. So on the back, there's not a lot I can do to the back because it, obviously because it's a Cooper R, it's already got the diffuser, got the exhaust, but I do want to put a rear wiper delete. I've already ordered that kit, so that'll be coming off. Things like the aerial, I don't quite like that, so I'm going to get like a sharp fin sort of aerial just to make it look a little bit better. So at the moment, the car is really healthy at the moment. When I bought this, there was very few on the market at the moment, but a lot of them had already had work done. They were a bit clattered, they were a bit fucked, basically. So yeah, they've been tampered with I've and everything. I've already had this, had a service. They've said, literally, it's one of the best Cooper eyes I've had in over like K1s, all that stuff. They've had, this one was coming, it was absolutely perfect. There was nothing wrong with it at all, engine-wise. Everything underneath was mint, so that just tells me that I can do a lot to this car without having any problems. It's healthy as anything, so. That helps with stage two plus as well because the car needs to breathe quite well and everything that needs to go on it, it needs to be perfect. So that really does bode well. For but yeah, guys, we'll see what the future holds. I mean, I do plan on going stage two plus at some point with this car. I plan on having this car for a while, especially once I've done all my bits to it. But we'll see what the future holds. Obviously, at the moment, I'll focus on stage one, then we'll move on to stage two. It has got potential. Don't get me wrong, I've seen a lot of cars and they're very fast in this sort of state. But that is going to be it guys i hope you did enjoy tell me anything that i i could learn on this car i don't know everything about this car at the moment so inform me on what i could do to this car the sort of things that come with mapping expense wise things that need to get done what i need to watch out for any problems that come with it just let me know because i do want to know i want to learn a lot about these sorts of cars I'm doing one of these on john's car probably soon but stay tuned for that i hope you guys did enjoy thank you for watching and we'll see you guys soon